come the champion, here come the champion, here come the champion. some space on that trophy shelf, Patriot Nation. The New York Patriots 2019 Independent Conference Championship. In year four of existence, the New York Patriots took their four years of experience and drive to the commitment to not just winning, but the winning process and turned it into a magical season. Here is that story, starting from training camp. Training camp version of our uh, program for the four years at the Patriots have been a program. This definitely is the the year in which the preparation has been uh, at this particular level. Um, last week, between last week and this week, you average about 40 players per practice. Around 55 to 58 players have attended either one of the two practices or what have you. As you can hear the drawing in the background, these guys are getting really excited. Uh, we do a little bit of hitting and uh, can't wait to kind of put pads on somebody who's not wearing our own jersey. So when it comes down to what we're doing this particular season, it's about having a lot of fun. There is a focus. Uh, ECFL, uh, we have the first game um, up on our league schedule. April 27th is ahead up to Maine to check out, check out the Wood Wolverines. Uh, should be a good test when it comes down to whenever you travel that type of distance. Um, you have to come with your A game one way or another. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, playing on the road, playing in somebody else's house, always a challenge, but these guys are definitely up to a challenge. Uh, really fun bunch, really positive bunch. Uh, got a couple of guys that uh, are new additions to the team. Uh, making, some, uh, making some noise. And you'll see them on the field just as much as some of these veteran guys. So it's about, a, at this point, it's being a Sunday, depth chart Sunday, as we say, where guys are earning positions or earning their spots, watching the positions on the field one way or another. So um, big shout out to the offensive linemen. Big shout out to the offensive linemen. They've, been, uh, they've really picked up their. Picked up their lunch pails the last couple weeks, and they've really been setting the pace for practice. Uh, defense came out here too. Coach McDonald did really, really, really well. So some install packages and stuff to keep us from getting, being vanilla on off, on defense and giving uh, teams more looks. <laughs> Great group of guys coming in, a bunch of players, I believe we had like 40 players like within the last two, three practices, like um, something that like not many can actually do. And other than that, like all the positions, all the uh, groups and everything have been working. I truly believe every team we're going to play this season should be one of those uh, teams we need to look out for. Uh, we're not going to look down upon anybody, we're going to go out there and just you know, take it as a championship game each game we play. Um, well, this season we focused on recruiting a lot of uh, younger offensive linemen that are able to rock out and ball out and go full quarter strong, uh, as well as um, we just been focused on all the mistakes that we did the last season to, to correct those and have more bodies so we can just kill the defense and make sure that the, the trenches are good the whole season. Patriots different from a lot of teams in New York. We recruit young guys to develop them, for them to step up to that leadership role. So when we decide to step um, step away from the game, those guys are leading this team into a better direction. Uh, they, uh, it, it's it's more. Last year was more oh the offense this and then the defense this. This year we're coming together as a unit as a whole. Everyone tries to help everyone get better. Uh, any guys on defense, see anything on offense, they That's like a the the here, having a lot of fun. Guys, um, in, 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 in Pittsburgh, in, 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 I'm not saying New York Spartans. So it's more of us being as a team and a family this year, them 
two teams with one jersey as a supposed to last year. So there's no wasting time at all. Like we have to handle that as that was last year moving forward. We we're trying to be a championship caliber team, so we're practicing like right champions. We can't waste no reps, we can't waste no time at all. If you don't know your assignments, you don't know your warm-ups, you shouldn't do that. That's just the mentality we're coming in with. Now some of the guys that came on to the team late, they, they understood the stretching. The stretch is quick and they understood the, the core drill for each position. Quick. They, 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 they seen the, 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 lead, the leadership and they, they seen everybody else all in sync with the same tempo, same mind, and they just following suit. So it's been real positive and the tempo's been up to par. We're all working and a lot of guys are sweating. That's a good sign and there's a lot of guys just, there's not that much talk in this season on, on the field, which means they all working, which is a positive thing. Yeah, so that's also the process. So we, we first got started, this was the only jersey that we had. Now we have grays and blues, reds and blacks. We have a white one coming in. So this year, these greens that you see right here will be retired. So the last time in Patriot history where these will be uh, put on a football field for a game situation. Our original uniform, which is gray top and uh, white bottoms. So training camp was super productive, and it was on to the start of the season. And the New York Patriots 2019 season began with a home game against the Mount Vernon Bangers. And with the high hopes of the season, they came out a little bit flat. Although there was some promising plays made by re returning MVP Kenny Wiggins and rookie LJ Ron Diaz, along with some familiar faces including Tajay Montgomery getting on the scoreboard, the New York Patriots fell flat on this one as they lost their opener 24-14. that they would stop the bleeding by hitting the road and although it did have a quick start to it the New York Patriots rivals the main Wolverines actually came out firing and ended up with a 20 to 3 to 6 victory as ineffective miscues and turnovers for the Patriots led to their second straight loss uh, first game of the season second game of the season for us for you guys. But, yeah um, well, uh, for us, just we, we, we're a young team. We're developing. Uh, we have a, a bunch of guys that just just kind of kind of pulling away. Uh, just couldn't make plays at points. We had the, the loose ball, fell on it kind of awkwardly, and still picking up, scooping and scoring. Uh, we can't play from behind. We have to quickly establish momentum on offense, uh, which absolutely killed us. Uh, Critical penalty, which extended the drive. And uh, we can kind of do But again, after the field, we were right in the center of the back. It's not good enough to come back. This is something last year. It's down two scores, came back. These guys have a chance to compete for a championship. And, this is part of the rigors of the regular season. Let's talk about the travel. travel and stuff that's back to the UCFL now. We've got more travel than we've got more. No, actually, it's funny enough that this actually cut down our travel oh, wow. a little oh, bit. Right, right, so yeah, so um, we, we, we do it independently as well. We were part of the UCFL. We played uh, the UCFL teams last year, mm -hmm. uh, including I'm not sure the ball team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Never played well. They actually came down to us. Uh, uh, we of course, the year in between, we have games in the So, you know, just stop getting these guys out of the game. Yeah, that's good question. Returning back home for week three, the Patriots in their last game in their gray uniforms. The staple since the... Uh, 
the team started four years ago, and the bringing back of the Nobles of the Smoke Bowl and a familiar opponent, the New York Crusaders. All of that was a recipe for success as the Patriots got on the winning side of things, having some big plays made on offense and defense, including Derek Duran with the key touchdown that sealed the game at the end. It's a pretty solid quarterback play from brand new rookie, Tay Breach. But all together, the Patriots are a streaky team, and we're hoping to get on a roll after this one. If the Patriots are going to continue rolling, they'd have to go with what really got them there, and that's back to work, both in practice and perfecting being they a solid organization on and bunch of off. people snapping pictures, they actually uh, asked us to take morning. pictures with them. I believe they were from uh, Spain and Argentina. It was two different groups, actually. And it, it was a cool experience. Like, you know, when you have fans come out of nowhere, ask you for pictures and everything. And we even did a um, well, brand endorsement. Oh. One of our players did. <laughs> that much yeah. indeed. For, for, yeah, for uh, uh, Broke a fan's, or yeah, yeah. A fan's um, business and everything. It was pretty cool. I'm next. <laughs> Hey, Trav, anything you want to say out here? What's up, man? Greatness? I'm not even going to talk. Patriots. We are okay. We're working, making some connections, and we're going to be meeting with the Westmoreland Wolves tomorrow. Uh, still doing some absolutely awesome. Oh, my God. I'm Anything you want to say before you are uh, bold is? Listen, I feel sorry for them because they're going to take this L from me. Oh! The rookie. Okay, okay. Okay, oh! <laughs> Okay, he got a little bit of something. I do that shit. Alright, so now, now it's Manny's turn. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got a split. Oh. Ah, just missed it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Pioneer Football League here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.
Carson for the New York Patriots, Pioneer Football League. We're at in Pittsburgh, uh, specifically in Westmoreland, checking out the Westmoreland Bulls. YK TV, number two out here. I'm about to spank these boys, you heard? Oh, who's playing? Thank you. All right, then you can. Uh, I'll let you know. Right. Gotcha. So about the school, right? Oh, oh, about the school, about to get this work. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do in the cut. Right? Well done. Well done. Got you, What does Alan get? I got you, I know. You gotta get something. I got a kick today. Is that silky? Hey, what's going on? It's David Patterson here. And the one that you hear are talking is Boy, even though we're wrong. That will be edited. Oh, that's not gonna do it. I'm gonna down it back. didn't even register. I'm gonna down back. Here you go, quick, 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 quick. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And the brand will continue to thrive as long as the brotherhood is strong. And as you can see, and back on their feet as they took on the East Mass Gators. They headed up to West Roxbury, Massachusetts, and opened up the scoreboard with their first shutout of the season in their second game of ECFL play. Their first win in the Independent Conference. And the quest for the championship that had, at this particular point, been something that they were not really competing for as an independent team. And one of the focuses of the 2019 season has now come into fruition. Step one is complete. Patriots then headed out to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to take the Westmoreland Wolves on. And in the kickoff classic in Pittsburgh, it was a very tough go at it. The Patriots started one of a skid of two games where they wouldn't score a single point. The team still keeps its head up as they try to rebound after losses against the Wolves and the Boston Panthers, looking for some answers and some players to step up. Has to probably be Ralph. One is a kid who was literally his second year ever playing football. He comes in, he's on time, he's always in the proper uniform in practice. He just sets a pace for the running back position. Um, him and Ed, they working together. They they get right in the backfield. But Ralph takes Ralph. If you look at Ralph, you won't even think he's 
never played the game of football for that long um, of this offensive line. What you got? My boy Laura. I mean, he hasn't been to enough practices, but he's the practices he has showed up to, he goes 100% every snap. He blocks like if he's in game. The coach says go 75, he's still going 110. And that's the type of thing you need on the offensive line. Nothing lazy. You need everybody going 100% every snap. So. Pictures from practice, and they understand, oh, you know what, I don't have a helmet yet. Well, guess what? Uh, I'm just not really, I'm not going to come to practice with no helmet. Oh, I'm not going to go to practice if I don't have pads on because I'm just going to be further behind. Like, it's almost like a, a shame to be under the standard. So we definitely have set the standard. Even off the field, non-football-wise, when Pat or anyone calls him, he's there for you. He's, a, he's, he's more than just football to being a captain or a leader of this team. Hey, um... I definitely, I definitely want to give give it up to Carlos. Actually, Carlos, like he comes in and like he he he's an anchor for that offensive line and he does everything. Like same thing, um, you need him, he's there, and like he's gonna help out whoever can, like whoever needs the help and everything, man. Like and they're not shy, like you know, like actually making their voice heard and like you know telling guys what to do and working with everyone like to make the team better as a whole. The one over here that had a, a brother over here from year two, you know, they, they take they, they take this team and put them in their backs regardless, you know, they, anything. Let's go. One, get that set, Tip push up, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not, 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 but wait, but wait, but wait. No secondary. They got all secondary. You know? Coach Pat, you know, a tremendous amount. I respect the guys that he's around. Coach McDermott, Coach C. I like that kid. For a guy kid. that I respect so much. Um, so when he asked me, I, I, you know, jumped at the opportunity in order to do so. I've been well received so far, and as long as I keep up my end and get these guys improving, they'll keep up theirs and treat me as the coach that I should. Goal that I'm expecting for the rest of the season is wins. Um, I love the travel aspect. I love the get back to real football aspect that the Patriots show here. Uh, the only thing is I would like to have fun during the weekend after a win. I want to beat somebody 50 to nothing and then go eat lobster in Maine. It's fun, but I think fun only comes, you know, after a hard fought win. And that's what I'm trying to bring to this program is competitive ability and, um, you know, just uh, an overall higher passion for winning in this program. Uh, Mike is another quarterback that we have here that I've to work with. Uh, he had some issues holding the ball and showing form on his throws, but we've tidied that up, and he makes great reads. He's a solid guy. He's a wide receiver by trait, but he's got a bit of an arm. So we work with him on that, and he's actually growing into his own, making a lot of plays and throwing for over 100 yards uh, coming soon. Environment and then teaching them what this environment should be and should grow to. Um, we're getting guys that are coachable. We're getting guys that want to learn. We're getting guys that want to compete, want to have effort, and want to you know, have a hungry drive, as well as go out and experience life. I mean, there's no other team in New York that you're going to get where you're going to go play in Canada, then go play in Florida, then go play in Boston, then go play in, you know, Pennsylvania. The travel component for the New York Patriots was at its premium in 2019. As the Patriots traveled over 5,000 miles to take on different opponents, including their annual trip to Canada and some new opponents up and down the East Coast and then the Midwest as well. I'm detaching the trailer now. <laughs> Nobody playing the game. These are like the, the old man be having down the block like this. He's going to detach it and then he's going to put it in. I even try it. I'm recording all this shit. This is all going to be classified. He got to hit the load. Yeah, bro. You got to let the, let the young ones go. Yeah. I'm out of here. Julio right here. Think he played lacrosse. Speed, think he could do it? Nah, you almost had it. You almost had it. What's up, CJ? Show him what you got, bro. Oh! 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 
Oh, he was One, two, three. <laughs> Alright, so we are here with Manny and CJ. At uh, Gillette Stadium, they got a uh, Gillette. My bad, y'all ain't on my ESO. Oh, he hit it. But um, you know, we stopping here in this lacrosse little thing that they have. They have a professional lacrosse game, the Boston Cannon. Oh, that's okay, sir. I did, honey. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm great, man. Glad you're here, buddy. <laughs> are you really? Did sorry. you check in the waitress and sorry, let her know I don't want to go camera, sorry. Please. No. Oh, God. By the way, I just paid $119. What? So, Pat, I need a tax write off. That's a, <laughs> that's a fact, because you are LLC, too. I play really bad at that. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Why would you do that, bro? Oh! He just set you up. Yeah! yeah. Now, I do my stop. Country, let's see something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Leo. Leo. Okay, Leo. Hey, Leo. Yeah, you got one. Because I'm the greatest. <laughs> I'm not being the greatest at all. Okay, okay. Strategy. I want you to think I'm wet. Watch. Uh -huh. That's what I do, bro. Anything you want to say to your opponent? Man, they don't sound chess, man. What's that that nice. Oh, that's mine. That's cute, man. I couldn't get that spare, though. I, I, can't, I can't. I need too much. I you can't get that strike, bro, and you can't get that spare. I began strikes. Y'all being so close. Look at yeah, stuff, man. Massachusetts, I know there's a, a good little ride up here for you. How did you uh, guys handle the trip? Oh, absolutely awesome. We were actually vets at this trip. Uh, I was actually born in Boston myself. Um, had a lot of family up here. So uh, for us, we, we feel right home. We actually, last time we were here, we got a win. So hopefully we do the same. Uh, I'm like three times, but so close, but never not. <laughs> Damn. Alright, Leo. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Yeah, one. So you just messed him up. Nah, nah, yo, chill, 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 chill. Damn. I know I'm losing. Damn. Well, you gotta keep up. Damn. Oh shit, I don't know. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> the capital of the South during the Confederacy. Let's go to World War II, I know that. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't play this? Down and back. You don't know what play this? Down and back. Uh, nah, it's cool. I'm trying to stay myself. Damn. Do you know what it is? Yo no, este, tengo, soy muy, un cateto de estar en, a, este, en Estados Unidos, este, no sé lo que puedo decir, pero este equipo es muy bueno y estoy happy. You know the vibe, man. You know the vibe, man. We out here, I don't know him over here. And the Patriots did head back into ECFL action in the Independent Conference with the two teams that were picked to be heavily favored in the conference. The first team up was the Huskies out of the Boston area. The Patriots went up to Charlestown High School right in the bright lights of the city of Boston and were able to have a defensive showing that was absolutely amazing. Three touchdowns on the defensive side of the ball as they secured Coach Patterson's 150th career victory. An absolute special one for him, being from the Boston area for one, and two, being such a big pivotal win in making a move towards the top of the stands in the ECFL. The following week would not be nearly as successful as the Patriots would head up to first place Central Maine Bucks and the Bucks were ready and firing out as they jumped out to an early lead and it took a torrential rainstorm for the Patriots to kind of wake up in this thing. Patriots ended up taking the lead at the end but they surrendered it again back with 20 seconds left in the game as a late touchdown pass by the Bucks sealed the Patriots' fate 
as they drop down to the number three seed in the standings. So with playoff seating to be handled, the Patriots headed back home for some tune-up games. They took on the Queens Huskies and also the New Jersey Pirates before heading up to Canada. When they headed up to Canada, they were short-handed, but fought fiercely as they came up short in their fourth game north of the border. They also had a game against NJCAA opponent Williamson Trade School. Came up short in that one as the mechanics definitely went to work in this one. But overall, the Patriot experience is that of challenging all types of competition level, and they definitely played their toughest opponents of date. But everything headed towards a rematch with the Central Maine Bucks for the ECFL playoffs as the Patriots got by the Beavers in the semifinals and <laughs>
Patriots 2019 champions. What a season it was. Such a memorable time from start to finish. We want to thank everybody who had a hand in this. Eastern Sports Network, the CFL, East Coast Football League, and Jim Harmon, the commissioner. What an awesome season. Along with Bishop Green Media as well. And all of the most of the people that made this possible. Our general managers, Jasmine You're not going to get Johnson. that kind of schedule on any other side. We also want to is, thank well, that, that you know, Lewis Harry Patterson, the season. We also it is a long season, Martin Lattimer, and, 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 and all the of the staff members of the CFL Championship is definitely awesome. in the Patriots Our region. Our media However, director, Tab, is going to take a lot of coaching like staff, a lot of effort, a lot of guys that get coach Frank Dermott, and a lot of things have to go right for us to all together take them a chance to some of their positions. Made it such an awesome year collectively. Oh, there we go. Ah, Coach there you Dominic, who came right. aboard as well to add to the framework, and all the host of celebrity coaches that came in during training camp, oh, including huh? Ed Lozada, minor league football Hall of Famer, along with Quincy Banks, Yo, Sean back, Coleman, back. and cool. a host of others. Yeah, man. We're going to check out there. some highlights. As some of our New York Patriots were selected to the ECL All Star Game two up in two Manchester, safeties. New Hampshire, two and, two and we actually came back with one additional Patriot. Yo, that's your that's your phone going off, you big ass kid. Definitely is. <laughs> Carlos, you have to have that. The, the... Don't give that to the police. <laughs> it's as far back as I'm going. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. Stay on the sideline and talk shit. You know it. Oh, you have to laugh. <laughs> Coach, Pat said he wasn't going to work or do nothing. Pat said he was going to chill, maintain, and now we're here. Oh, thank you. I got you right now. I got you right now. Oh, no, no, you need to know what I'm Oh, here we go! <laughs> Camera goes off. I'm walking a little ways anywhere. So we're going to let the. Oh, Oh, That's what we need.
Look at this guy help me. Can you find Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> <laughs> he found Dunkin' Donuts. During the first quarter of the ECFL All-Star Game, Lasaya Diaz was actually born, and as MVP LJ Diaz was about to take the field, so you can memorize this by now, please. And took the girlfriend over to local New Hampshire hospital, where he was born right before halftime. So, as we finished off the season with celebration after celebration, we were able to. Kind of take a Are you feeling time. I don't know because maybe one day that kid wants reminisce to on exactly what you're going to be an uncle. Well, your the uncle. process of winning, all the hard work and effort that went into such a great season. We ended up afterwards discussing some of those things at the banquet and everybody getting excited wearing their championship gear and looking forward to 2020, which will be the fifth year of New York Patriot football. and all-star recognition or what have you. So the first thing I want to do is recognize our all-stars. Great job. Uh, all, an all-like season all-star team. So the all-stars that were picked that are playing tomorrow are ECFL all-stars. Those are ones that were picked just based on their performance in the ECFL games. Uh, you guys are going to figure out who it is. Dude came in as like, he wasn't even like third string quarterback. He was like the eighth string quarterback. <laughs> Mike, great Mike, job. Mike! Mike! Yeah, QB! Oh. Yeah, yeah, QB! Yeah, QB! For, for the defensive MVP, I'm going to say this really quick because Fuck he's not here, but Durant. Durant! Durant. 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 Offensive MVP. And I think he had, a, a, again, we talked about setting trends now say in the it. CFL. Definitely made noise in the championship game, both, both on the field and off the field, with his pancake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the pancake! You want to cry? You want to cry? You want to cry? You want to cry? Yeah, John! Again, it, it's, it is obviously.
obviously the award or what have you. Uh, the most important award this year, I'm gonna be honest with you, is the championship rings that are coming in. Uh, that's a fact. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the most important award. But the most valuable player, a player both led on the field and off the field as well, setting the pace. Uh, even when it came to like games that it was difficult for us to get up to where we were going, he was always the first one in the stretch. Even though he wasn't like an official captain, like people just gravitated to him and just he just led the way and did his thing and produced on the field as well. Statistically, it was just a monster. LJ. Uh, yeah, Juice. Yeah, Juice. Let's go, Juice. Let's go, Juice. You gotta show us the dad bod. Nah, yeah, it is to be recognized by myself or even a coach or what have you. Um, having the respect of your brothers is what this is what this program has always been about. And um, this is a again new this year, uh, just like a lot of our awards. But I think this is something that we're definitely going to hold on to year in and year out. Um, and the voting process is is going to be again something selected by peers, a guy that came in and, and rookies are really, this rookie class was just absolutely amazing. amazing. Absolutely amazing rookie class. A uh, guy that came in and just his attitude, just you'd never see him negative. Uh, you know, you'd never see him arguing with people. You just see him just, hey, look, let's go. Hey, whatever Pat says, you know, oh, Pat's plug it out. Yeah, he is, but let's just do it anyway. You know, it doesn't much matter. Um, on and off the field. Again, made plays on the field, has statistics on the field, but was delivering uh, Miss Pat handing out uh, flyers. It was a guy that was you know running next to the car, giving out GPS directions or whatever. Because <laughs> like again, everything that you asked, yeah, you're like blue. you just knew that this guy was going to show up. Blue. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. go. Yeah. 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 Boy, yeah, let's go, Blue. You know you got my blue. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah Marky yeah. Mark! Yeah. yeah! Fuck you, Mark! You're still trash and mad at boy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terry, Terry, Terry. We gotta get this on. Like, like, like we bucket. said, five and ten yeah, business yeah. days. Because right. yeah. wow. this dude knows he balled out. Yeah, thank you. Blue! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bro! Let's go! It's Alan Mock! Alan Mock! Yeah. I, I wanna, so with that, that being said, and you don't count, you know, you're going to be like, ah, whatever. I'll get driver of the year. Rookies, next oh, year, right. next year, set, set the Jacob same tone, the same tone, and just be, just, just be a leader for the new rookies. Yeah. 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 You didn't do nothing yeah. championship yeah. game. Yeah. Why you got to be so tall with it, though? Why you so tall with it, though? Yo, and just like I said. Yo, look at the camera. All three Patriots. All six family. One, two, three. Hey, hey, hey. Four, five, six. Hey, family. There you go. Hey. Hey. So on to year five as we show the hardware from 2019. As we flip the calendar to 2020, the best ring that we have is the next ring that we're looking to get. And with five seasons, something to really take a step back and appreciate all the hard work and effort that went into the New York Patriot product. The fifth season is about not only a continued celebration, but a rededication to the hard work that led to the success from day one of the program. And with that being said, the New York Patriots are looking to add to the family, looking for players and coaches alike, and have some really awesome, exciting news for the 2020 season in the upcoming weeks before the new year hits. The new player and returning player orientation will be in January, and training camp for the 2020 season will be opening in March. What an awesome season of New York Patriot football for the New York Patriots, the Pioneer League, and the ECFL 2019 Independent Conference Champions. This is David Patterson. Thank you for such an awesome season and supporting New York Patriot football.